What's up beautiful babes? Sweet Angel here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Y'all, I tell you what, I am a little bit, I don't know, I'm feeling some kind of way because I have a whole lot of people in the comments asking a whole lot of questions and unfortunately, I can't get to all of them. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to take it back. I don't care if we take it back five years ago. And as a matter of fact, today we're going to take it back five years ago because this particular question was posed some time ago. And it's all about menopause. Yes, I can talk about it. I'm 58 years old. And honey, child, I went through menopause a long time ago. Nearly a decade ago now. <laughs> well, not quite. Exactly when I was 50 years old. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness, it's hard to believe, but I'm so glad. Now, they say menopause, it's uh, good in one way, bad on another. And we're going to talk about everything, everything. And my goal here is to make sure that you all get real interactive in the comments because I've had my experience, you've had your experience, and together, we can probably answer a lot of people's questions, okay? I can only give it from my point of view because I can only give it the way I've experienced it. I can do a lot of research and answer questions and all of that jazz, but you know, coming from real people makes a big difference. And that's why I love my beautiful babes so much is because they will definitely pour into every single video that's meaningful to them. They will definitely share experiences and deliver even products that they know that will help. So today I want to talk about exactly what her question is asking and that is in regards to supplements and vitamins. Yes, a lot of times I'm pretty high wired for whatever reason, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel great, <laughs> so I, I guess I don't have a reason and my personality is what comes through on this camera, so that is me. So, with that being said, even with that, I personally take vitamins. Now, I take a lot of different vitamins. I don't take the same vitamins every day because I kind of tune into my body and kind of feel what I'm missing, especially if I know I haven't been intaking some of the right foods. Now, one thing I do know that a lot of things is really based on your diet and what you do, but we're going to tear into all of that today. If you have never heard of Ina Labs, let me introduce you. To Ina Labs. They offer elevated formulations for the most intimate parts of the woman's body. They use patented technologies and proprietary formulas to redefine intimate health and wellness for women everywhere. At Ina Labs, they're all about intimate vulva health and wellness for women. If you're ready to up the game, on your intimate skincare products and you have concerns about your lady parts health then Ina Labs is for you. I have my link in the description. Check it out today. You'll be glad you did. So before I get into the vitamins and the supplements, let me first break out what is menopause, what are the symptoms or the signs you may be experiencing if you're approaching menopause, going through menopause, or post-menopause. We'll be diving into all of that, so this cannot be summed up in one video. This is going to be a, a whole series because it's part of a, a lot of our lives and for years we may be experiencing that old girl called menopause. So menopause summed up all in all is a single day. The day that you have not had your period for 12 consecutive months. The years that lead up to menopause are a transition from the reproductive to the non-reproductive state. It's basically 
reverse puberty. Now this is where it gets all kind of different for everyone. So just brace yourself. And if you have more to add to this list, the comments are there. Let's talk about it. So the symptoms that leads up to the years or the months rather to menopause or perimenopause, you might experience these symptoms or some of these signs, irregular periods, vaginal dryness, hot flashes, everybody knows about that one, chills, night sweats, mm -hmm. sleep problems, mood changes, weight gain, and slowed metabolism. Hate it, thinning hair and dry skin, loss of breast fullness. Now those are just a few, but let me talk about some of the things that are sometimes overlooked. These are overlooked menopause symptoms. Now, when it comes to hot flashes, that tends to get the most attention of everything. But what about the often crushing fatigue? And that is what we are kind of talking about today. Um, energy levels and that's why we're going to talk about vitamins for energy this is one that a lot of women battle with is fatigue but nobody ever really talks about it or brings it up as their first issue that's going on with them and I do want to bring up right here the lesser known symptoms of menopause we did talk about the sleep problems um, and some actually do experience insomnia and that's mainly due to the fact that progesterone drops and that contributes to your mind racing and anxiety tends to keep us up at night. Some people also have anxiety and panic attacks. And the other thing, you know, people always talk about turning 50 and they actually start complaining about joint aches and pains. Yes, aching and painful joints are not always acknowledged as signs of menopause. But because of the fact that hyaluronic acid and collagen declines, that's where the joint aches and pains come from. And also estrogen receptors support our joints. Any stiffness or pain you feel may be attributed to that also. The other thing is breast pain. Despite the assumption that breast tenderness is a result of PMS during the reproductive years, it can also occur during perimenopause or menopause. And that's likely due to hormonal changes. There are some that complain about heart palpitations, which definitely could be pretty frightening. And let's talk about skin changes and new allergies that come about. You may notice texture of your skin during this time, decreased elasticity due to the collagen loss, and also rashes, acne, rosacea, and the latter three are the result of increased testosterone or hormonal fluctuations. So those are signs and symptoms. Now let's begin talking about vitamins, things that we can intake or do to help the cause. So in today's video, I wanted to focus primarily on vitamins for energy. This is a whole row of vitamins that I take interchangeably or supplements that I take interchangeably. Not only that, I also drink herbal teas and I do make smoothies that also include some major goodness in them. And the first vitamin I wanna talk about or supplement rather, is B12. B12, if you're feeling just exhausted and tired all the time, B12 is one that you might want to venture into. B12 is amazing for menopause as it helps to fix issues like fatigue and weakness, even constipation, loss of appetite, numbness and tingling in the hands, balance problems, depression, confusion, 
dementia. As you age, your body loses some of its ability to absorb vitamin B12 and your risk of vitamin B12 deficiency increases. This vitamin B12 is water soluble and it's found in many foods. It's necessary, very necessary for bone health, DNA production, neurological function, creating red blood cells. The recommended dietary allowance of B12 is 2.4 micrograms daily for females 14 and older. You can help meet this requirement during and after menopause by taking a B12 supplement and eating fortified foods. So I do take also a multivitamin. This one is Vita Joy Gummies and it's for adults. It's a daily vitamin and mineral supplement. It contains B6 and B6 is also vital in the menopausal stages. Let me tell you the reasons why B6 is on my list of the ones that I intake. B6 helps with serotonin, a chemical that is responsible for transmitting brain signals. As women age, our serotonin levels drop. Fluctuating serotonin levels may be a contributing factor in the mood swings that we have and depression as well. Now, the recommended dietary allowance of vitamin B6 is 1.3 milligrams daily for females 19 to 50. Now I am 58, so my daily recommended allowance is 1.5 milligrams. And taking a vitamin B6 supplement during and after menopause may help tame or prevent symptoms caused by low serotonin. These includes loss of energy and depression. So that is vital. Now you know where you can kind of shift gears to in your vitamins to make sure you're intaking the correct amount of B6 and B12 for energy levels to get you up there, to get you going. Very, very, very important. So if you were wondering, now you know. Now you know, very important. Now I don't recommend especially B12. Don't take it right before bed. If you have not taken your vitamins, don't worry about it. Do it the next morning because I promise you, you talk about insomnia, it'll give you insomnia because it definitely will boost your energy levels to an all time high. All right, beautiful babes. Normally at the end of the video, I could say that's it, that's all, but that's it for today. We have more good stuff to talk about. If you want to know more good stuff, I really would love for you to subscribe and we can keep going with this and going with this because we're going to talk about all of this, all of this right here on the channel. So please make sure you stick and stay. Subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so that when you see my video pop up, you will know a new video has arrived. Drop a like on this video if you got something good out of it today, something of value, and definitely chat it up in the comments. That's where a lot of the material that we'll be talking about in the videos forthcoming will come from. It'll come from you, real women like you. So please make sure you drop your questions, you make your comments down there, let folks know your experience, how you're helping combat some of the issues that come along with menopause. I'm Sweet Angel, and I'll see you on the next one. Please make sure you share me with your world. See you soon.